Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk about a new capability we have with the rules for dynamic groups. Now I've done a video on dynamic groups before, but we now have the ability as part of our rules that define the membership, i.e. who is in that group, that I can now use attributes that are of type date time offset. Now, if I jump over and look at a user, what we can see right here is we have employee hire date. And that's really the focus of this today. Now, the whole point of this date time offset is it represents that date and time value together with an offset that indicates, well, how does it differ from UTC time? Therefore, it's always unambiguous. You always know exactly what that single point in time is. And I can use it together with a number of different operators. So if we go and look at a group, and I actually created one of these already, so I just did this dynamic group hire date, and as part of that, you have dynamic membership rules. Now, what you can see here is for my property, I have picked that employee hire date, and then I can use a whole set of different potential operators from that. We have all the regular ones. So greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. And then for the value, what's really nice here, and as you can see what I'm doing, is I'm using system.now. So obviously that is this precise second in time. But I can combine that with plus or minus, <coughs> excuse me, a certain number of days. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm subtracting a year. I'm subtracting 365 days. So what this rule is essentially saying is the employee hire date has to have been within the last year. So this might be really useful for scenarios where, hey, for people's first year, I give them access to certain onboarding type resources and then they fall out of it. But obviously I could use it for other scenarios the last week or they're going to join in the next month. So maybe I give them access to pre-onboarding type materials. Then as you can see, my members, it's just populated with these three users who have an employee uh, hire date within the last year. And that's really it. I mean, it's super simple. Now, I don't have to use this system dot now. I could absolutely also put in just an explicit time. For example, instead of that, I could actually put in a value. So here I'm putting in a, a date time offset value. And the Z means zero. So that is saying, hey, there's zero time zone. So it's an offset of zero from coordinated universal time, UTC, i.e. it is UTC time. So I've just put in an explicit value here if I wanted to. And that's really it. I mean, that's really all I wanted to cover. I think this is just a really nice capability that we now have as part of our dynamic groups. And obviously I could combine that with other things. I might also look at, hey, the, the user type is a member. But if it was a guest, I'm unlikely to have an employee hire date anyway. So it's probably not gonna be a big deal. Now, one thing you might be wondering about is, well, could I also use this with employee leave date? And that is not supported today. Remember, employee leave date, that is not really exposed in the portal anyway, because it's a lot more sensitive value. And imagine you went and created a group actually based on leave date, and people didn't know about it yet, and they just noticed, oh, look, I'm in this group. That's probably not a good thing. So it would be a very sensitive thing. So I don't know when that may be supported. I think there'd have to be other capabilities to make sure we don't um, expose information we really didn't mean to do. But I think this is super powerful, and you could imagine all different scenarios where, hey, that employee um, hire date is really important today for the last year, last week, future years. They've been with the company 20 years. There's a whole set of things that I could use this for. Um, I hope that's useful. As always, till next video, take care.